is up everybody welcome back to the channel i hope you all are having a great day uh we're in the infinity and we're going to try to figure out a problem that i see a lot of people are having first off as you could see in the beginning of the video when i hit the lock button on the infinity there's supposed to be a chirp that lets you know that the alarm is set and it's not chirping sometimes it will sometimes it doesn't another thing that will happen is once you set the alarm after you wait a while the alarm will just start going off because the back hatch thinks that it's open even though it's not the other thing is is when you start it up I'll show you real quick we can see here that it says we have a door ajar uh, all the doors are closed and I believe it would be the rear hatch because if you look in the back you'll notice that the light is still on in the back well that light should go off when the door is closed if we go to the back of the car you see it opens and you literally will hear it close yet you can see the light is still on so that's what tells me that it's something to do with the rear hatch let's go ahead and get back there and we'll start taking the door panel apart and see if we can figure this out I have a good idea of what it is all right first off if you have a light in the back and it has a switch that you can shut it off go ahead and do that so that way you don't drain your battery by leaving the rear hatch open all right so the first things we're going to remove is there's little push pins there should be four of them there's two here and then there's two on the inside one on this side and one on this side We should just be able to come in here and pry down on the inside. All right, now that we got the panel off, you'll see we have three 10 millimeter bolts right there, and then there'll be one right there on the inside holding the actuator or locking mechanism before removing the motor actuator door lock whatever you want to call it there is one plug right here that you'll need to unplug and I believe you just push down that little tab and it should come out and this is the side that will come with the motor locking mechanism and it is attached to the plastic so you will have to pop it loose now it fits in there pretty snug but if you move it around it should come out just like that it's very very hard to see but where these two wires go down in it's basically letting it know that this has shut and locked I don't know if that means that it's an open circuit or a closed circuit but once the door shuts it should acknowledge that the door is locked by sending a signal well if you look way down in there 
probably won't be able to see it, but one of those wires has frayed and is touching a piece of metal. So even when the door is shut or open, it thinks it's open all the time. For an easy temporary fix, what I did was I stuffed a piece of paper towel down in there to make sure that the wire does not touch that piece of metal. A lot of people say to cut the wire or just put a sticker over your light. Well, I'd rather the alarm work right and the lights shut off when they're supposed to shut off. I guess the actual fix would be to buy a new one of these, but I think they're pretty expensive. So this is what we're doing to fix it easy and cheap, just temporarily. But let's put it back in and see how it works now. If you're using this fix on something other than an Infiniti FX35, I'm sure it's probably the same problem if it has that automatic locking or automatic actuator that pulls the door in. What happens is when it opens and closes and opens and closes so many times it ends up wearing out a spot on the wire on the rubber coating and that's why the wire was touching. All right, the door panel is back on. I'm gonna set you guys down in the back of the car. Turn this back on as if the door was open and I'm gonna shut the door and see if it goes off. When I closed the door, if you noticed, you didn't hear the door motor pull it in tight. Uh, I forgot to unhook the battery. Uh, if you didn't do that, that's all right. You just have to go back and unhook the battery to reset the computer. And now, if you notice, when I shut it, it pulls all the way in tight like it's supposed to. Get in and put the key in. And the light is no longer on. As you can see, when you open the door and close it, it is off. You don't have any more light. And now you can see that the horn does chirp. All right, guys, so that looks like it fixed our problem. Uh, there's probably the same issues on a lot of other vehicles that this will fix. Uh, there's probably a lot of other problems that are making this happen that might not be the same. But, this is one thing to check and an easy fix to do. I know this was a short video, but it's something that I wanted to get fixed for a long time. I hate having lights on the dash. I hate that the keyless entry or the alarm might not work by the key fob. If I have a option, I want to be able to use it. I appreciate everybody uh, watching the channel. And I want to let you know that we are going to have some more stuff coming for the Duramax. But if you liked this video, hit that thumbs up button. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And stay tuned and see what we do next time.